What's up, Marvel Snappers, and welcome back to another Deck Tech. Today, we're exploring the Pool 3 card leader, who on reveal copies all cards your opponent played this turn, but to your side of the board. This is an incredibly powerful card that catches people off guard on the final turn, and if you can be ahead in two locations going into turn 6, this card is almost an auto win. Now note, sometimes the cards you copy can end up being bad for you, such as copying a Carnage that eats your whole board, or other effects that ruin your day, but generally this is going to be a very powerful turn 6 play. Now to complement the leader, we're playing cards such as Ebony Maw, who just puts a lot of power into one of the locations for us, and then we're running a few other synergies that let us beef up the power here, because the idea is we want to be ahead in two locations. Complementing that strategy as well is Storm, who can lock down a location, and if you can be winning that location already, then you only need to be ahead or within four on the final turn to play leader to copy everything the opponent plays and take the game. Complementing both Storm and Ebony Maw are Nightcrawler, and Vision, who can move around and position our power going into the final turn that we make sure that Leader swings the game for us. We also have Mr. Fantastic and Claw, who can push additional power into the locations that Ebony Maw or Storm has locked down. Rounding out the deck is Iceman, just for a bit of disruption. Angela, to just put a good amount of power into one of our locations. Armor can protect our one-cost cards from Killmonger and is great on turn two followed into an Ebony Maw so that Killmonger doesn't take our seven power away. And we have America Chavez. Just to have a little more consistency, we wanted to draw a leader as much as possible. And Jessica Jones just as a good eight power for four energy. A fantastic follow-up to Storm that usually ends up winning you that location. Now this deck actually worked out really well, and I won most of my games in testing, and gained quite a lot of cubes from it. Now one thing you'll notice is I don't snap in the footage, and that's because in the games that I snapped, the opponent retreated, and I really wanted to actually show leader pop off on the final turn. But if you are ahead in two locations, or again, you can be minus four in one of them because the leader itself provides four power, plus copying the cards your opponent plays, you want to snap and there's a good chance that you'll end up doubling your cubes from that game. With that, let's hop into some games. Alright, first location is Mirror Dimension. We can actually go armor into Ebony Maw on the third turn. Ooh, okay, so Kiln will be a fantastic spot for Ebony Maw, and we can claw into there if they somehow get up over us. And they go with an Okoye. So Los Diablos could ruin Kiln. The opponent snaps, but we're gonna get a pretty good power push here and we can follow that up with even more power. The Iceman will disrupt them a bit too. Well, okay, that's, uh, <laughs> that's awkward. Well, this is the last turn cards can be played. If they can put more than two power here, they will have one. Snap. Yeah, the only other thing we could play is Angela, which is one power. And this at least puts two more power here, although they probably won't fight over this one. 
We probably end up losing this one if they can spread. Yeah, they have a lizard and a three power Iceman. <laughs> that was a funny game. So they have two turns to put 12 here to win all three locations, but yeah, we are just done here. We cannot play cards anymore. Oh wait, this one is still flooding. It's not quite over yet. In fact, we can storm it back to flooding. Let's see what we can pull off here. The Iceman hitting our claw is unfortunate. So they go with a Jessica Jones, so they can have 10 power here, or plus 4. So they can get up to 14, and we can only get up to 13. Do they play a large card here, hoping to come up over us? I'm willing to risk the four cubes to find out. Oh, <laughs> and the leader takes X. We have four bodies to turn off the lizard. They played an eight power vision. <laughs> that was a That was a wild game. But Leader came through for us. They knew they couldn't win Kiln. And even though if they didn't play a card, Jessica Jones would buff by 4. This gave them an additional 4 on that by buffing the location by 8. But Leader is able to copy that for us and give us the win. Let's hop into another one. Alright, Fisk Tower is going to destroy anything that moves there. We won't be able to rely on our vision or our nightcrawler. For now, let's get the Iceman down, possibly disrupt their curve. And yeah, they go with an Ant-Man. We have to just pass for now, but we can storm Jessica Jones, the vault. Which gives us the potential to claw into there if we need to. Opponent snaps without even seeing the third location. We'll play this out. We have a pretty good hand here and the leader is a nice surprise way to win. Okay, they go with an armor. We might have to expect a spectrum. We can go with the storm. Okay, and they're fighting hard for Fisk Tower, and now they have an extra energy per turn. They might be able to play something big here. We can put up to 8 power here with the Claw. And they're on 5 energy. So they might have like a Gamora... Or something. Or maybe a Professor X. Let's, uh... Let's get some power into Baxter building. We want to have a good spread before we lead her. Ooh, and they Professor X the Baxter building. So we'll actually win that with the Jessica Jones. And now they actually only have one spot left to work with. If we snap, they probably just retreat. So let's just play Claw. Yeah, they know they've lost. <laughs> they assumed we'd be playing to Flooded, but we knew we had a way to get power into there with the Claw or Mr. Fantastic without committing. And so we were able to catch them off guard by taking the Baxter building. Let's hop into another one. All right, first location is Space Throne. So we're gonna be able to stay out of here for a while, and if they plan on playing their turn six play here, we'll be able to copy it with Leader tying this location. Do we wanna try and get the trigger off Angela with Iceman? 
think we'll try. Try and get a little more value out of this one drop. Especially now that we're going to be full of rocks. Although now we have a 3 and a 4, so maybe we should have blindly played the Iceman. But Mr. Fantastic will be perfect here, because we'll be spreading a bit of power into the Space Throne. If they play, like, say, their Devil Dinosaur here on the final turn, we can copy that with Leader. Oh, and they have a Lockjaw. So they'll probably end up cycling a Sentinel out. And the rocks continue... Let's go with Jessica Jones. This Lockjaw lane will probably get full pretty quick as they play cards to cycle through. Because Lockjaw will swap the card they play with a card in their deck. Yeah, so they've capped out this location already. And they get a rock. Yeah, Lockjaw and rocks are not friends. Hmm. <laughs> They say they're losing, but they might just want us to think that. For now, we can claw. We saw a Sunspot and Lockjaw. Maybe they pass this turn and try and go for an Infinite. Although that wouldn't win them here. So they Jubilee and pull into a rock <laughs> and the opponent retreats lockjaw and jubilee are both powerful effects but not when there's 10 rocks in the deck let's hop into another one first location is murder world so we'll stay out of there i don't think we want them getting too much advantage from cloning vats. So let's go with the Angela and follow that up with a storm. Yeah, like, no thank you. They're gonna get to do that two more times, because now they have priority. But they'll be filling this lane with pretty low power cards. Oh, so they storm themselves. Okay, so we can go with Mr. Fantastic Iceman. That'll push two. We'll be able to vision over into one of these locations. So let's let's leave the space free for that. Okay, so they go with the Jessica Jones, so they can have a potential 10 here. And once our vision moves over there, we'll be able to tie them. So they go with an Angela and a Scorpion. So they'll be able to get plus four from the Angela, but which will tie our nine, but Leader will provide two and then we copy whatever they play. So we'll actually just leave Vision here, and this should be a guaranteed win. <clears throat> yeah, we copy their Gamora and their Nightcrawler. And that's Leader at work. <laughs> and 
managed to come up over them just by two, but that was the two power of leader, and we matched their 14 power on the final turn, having one of the locations already won. I hope you enjoyed the games and got to see the power of leader. He's a fantastic card that slots into a lot of decks and can be used to catch the opponent off guard. In the description of this video, I've left a link to a survey that you can fill out if there's a Pool 3 card that you would like to see explored on the channel. And as always, if you have any questions or feedback for me, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.